All right, welcome everybody. My name is JP Lutnick. You can see a photo of my handsome mug right here. And today with Sapphire SEO, we're gonna be talking about nine steps to local marketing. So this is specifically for you business owners who own and operate a local or small medium-sized business and could also be potentially a franchise studio or branch of a corporate uh, entity. So there are the nine steps that we're gonna be talking about today are gonna to be fairly basic. It's a little bit more of an overview, but it gets you to have an idea of what you need to have in order to properly do online marketing for your local business. Now, the first step that we're going to be talking about is creating a website. So number one is creating a website. Now, the reason why you want to have a website and a lot of people will be like, JP, this is really, you know, a very obvious thing to do but a lot of individuals that run a small business even if it's a home business typically don't even have a website which is quite surprising now a lot of you will go out and you'll look for a professional to do your websites and you might be looking for a custom site where you might even pay upwards of about two thousand dollars for a website and quite often these websites are not mobile friendly they're custom made through programs like dreamweaver and whatnot and they're not very effective for seo purposes or for allowing you to edit the back end so this is uh, on the lower cost end but still highly ex high expensive cost for a small business owner so what you want to be looking for is a company that actually will create a website for you around a thousand dollars now this is a, a good range. Anything less than this, you probably only get a, a very ba basic template uh, website that's built for you uh, out of the box, no real bells and whistles if it's any lower than $1,000. Unless it's somebody that you know and they're giving you a really good deal. But I would stay away from the two grand or more unless you're really going for a custom based website. I would go for a $1,000 website uh, and then around there, you can add in bells and whistles, which will increase the price, of course, but this is where you should be starting, not around 2000, depending of course what you're looking for. But creating a website should be one of your main investments. So this is why this is gonna be a little bit more pricey at the start, but it's well worth it because you need web online presence as most people are going online and a lot of people now are on mobile devices, which you require a website for them to access. Make sure when you're creating a website is also mobile friendly as most people will be on their mobile devices and looking for you on the go. And yeah, I am an amazing drawer. So this is awesome right here. This is a mobile phone in any case. So step one was creating a website. And now step two, now that you have your website, is to get some SEO, so search engine optimization, to generate leads for your website, to generate traffic. Now, what you want to do is make sure that you have your website, have certain pages on your website that you might have a video, some text, and potentially a capture page form, so an opt-in form where you can get their name, their email, their phone number, and this might give them a little bit of an incentive, which is either for like a free video or a discount coupon or something like that. But you want to do SEO, search engine optimization, for your website to direct people traffic to this page so that you can gather their information and then they become leads. So that's step two of the online marketing process for local businesses. Create a website and generate traffic using SEO to create leads to a cap through, through a capture page. Now, step three is kind of the same thing, but it's driving traffic through to your website. So number two is creating an SEO lead gen page. So this is the page after you create your website. Three is driving traffic to this page. Now, there's many ways of doing that. You can do social media, so social media. You can do videos. You can do pay-per-click. You can do SEO strategies to get yourself on the top of the search engines. Um, you can do articles. You can do blogging. 
There's tons of ways to do getting traffic to the site. You can even do off-page promotions, so paper-based promotion, such as newspapers, uh, coupons, ads. Uh, you can also even go to networking events, so groups like BNI or Rapid Time Networks, or the Chamber of Commerce, or just even meetups.com uh, is a good place to check it out. Driving traffic to this page specifically is what you want to do so that you can gather the leads and the information. Now, once you have the, the traffic come to your site, step four, and as you can see, this is all kind of connected, but step four is convert, converting your traffic into leads. So converting traffic into leads. Now, how you want to do that is again with this page down here, this one right here, you want to have yourself a incentive for the people who are coming to your page. So let's say you have a video, you've got your text, and you've got your opt-in form. On your opt-in form, you're going to have the, the fields for them to input their information, but you're also going to have a incentive for them. So whatever that incentive is, it could be a coupon, it could be another video on the other side, uh, like a how-to video, for example, if you are uh, a carpenter, you can do a how-to video on how to create a table or a candlestick. Now, obviously, somebody's not going to really uh, take the time to actually make it, but the fact that you're incentivizing them is going to make them more likely to actually put their information into the box and get submit. Once you have that, you have the information, you can follow up with them, which is the part of page five. Part five, step five, is converting your uh, leads into sales. So how you do that is obviously you're going to follow up. Now this is very important because a lot of people can, once they get to this point, they generate the leads, but you need to follow up. So that could be either calling them, you could send a physical postcard if you gathered their address in this form. Uh, you could actually even offer a little CD or flash stick with uh, videos or something on it where they pay only the shipping and handling and they get the thing for free. That way they fill out all the information plus a shipping address and you can send them a physical item in the mail. Uh, another way you can actually do it is you could send them an email. Depending on what you gather, you could send them a text. You could also connect with them on social media. So lots of ways to follow up. The more times you follow up somebody, the better. And with this form here as well, you can have an autoresponder. And what an autoresponder is, responder, is that it's a piece of software that once that person inputs their email and name, you have a bunch of emails that are already made up, that it grabs their name and then sends out an email customized to that person's name. So that it looks like you're emailing them personally, but you've already spent the time once setting up the, the emails so that it will send it out automatically for you, that way you don't have to spend all your time sending out emails. Good way to follow up. Now, step six is to set up tracking. So make sure you have tracking on your website that you have created over here. Because tracking and analytics is going to allow you to see where people are coming from. Are they coming from Google? Are they coming from Facebook? Where are they coming from? What ads did you put up? And what is generating you the traffic? And what you can also see is when someone comes to your site from this location, are they more likely to convert into a sale rather than a Facebook person? Are they going to just fall off into the garbage can? Now, uh, I'm not saying that either one is going to happen. I'm just saying that which one, with analytics, you can tell which one's most likely going to happen based upon your site and how it's set up and the conversions. So website tracking is very important. And that's step six. Step seven is one of our favorites again. It is follow-up marketing. So follow-up marketing can be anything like we set up here with follow-up, can be calls, sending a postcard, email, text, social, autoresponder, but basically this is going to be what happens after you make a sale. So when you make a sale, that you're not done yet. The person's paid to you, they've pulled out their credit card, which quite often means that they're more willing to spend money with you. They know, like, and trust you. So with this, 
typically what we do is we send out a uh, physical card so a physical card and it usually has a five dollar gift card or something else inside it for like a Timmy's or Starbucks or whatever where we say thank you for your business and whatnot now these are and obviously I can't spell but these are very important because it lets the client know that you actually care about them that you're grateful for their business and you, uh, it can generate more referrals can generate more business from that person now on the next page for number eight uh, next is to test and refine now because you are tracking everything you're going to see the numbers that are going through your website and you're going to see the conversion conversion ratios so how many people are actually coming to your site and leading into sales you're also going to be able to see who's coming to which pages on your site so while are they coming to the home page are they coming to the about page are they coming to your capture page and then you're going to be able to see are they going from the home page to the capture page are they going from the home page to the about page and then they're dropping off the website or are they going to, from the home about to the capture page or are they going to the capture page to the about page now what you want to really happen is you want all these pages to lead to the sales page so find out why they're going to the about page from home and why they're dropping off rather than going to the sales page that is step eight is testing and refining you can build a website but if it's just sitting there and you never check what's going on and where people are going off of your website then you could be losing money it could just be flying away and yes these are wings on the dollar bill and yes they're beautiful aren't they but yeah so your money could be flying away and you would have no idea that it was leaving if you weren't testing and refining your website uh, for example let's say you increase your conversions by 10 percent this is going to be a dramatic increase in sales compared to if you were just increasing traffic by 10 percent because even if you were increase your traffic by 10 percent if you weren't increasing your conversions or conversions to stay the same this wouldn't really equal to too much more with traffic but if you did your conversions increase by 10 percent you're going to see a significant increase in sales and last but not least the step nine is asking for the referral referral marketing if you've done a good job with your clients and you've gained them online and whatnot and you've done the follow-ups and you've sent a thank you card ask for a referral find out from them if there's anybody that you, they know of that might require your services don't be afraid to ask there's no harm in asking because if you ask then it'll be at the top of their mind they'll be like oh wait yeah i do have a couple of people and they'll check their phones they'll check their uh, address books and they'll find a couple of people that are in there that might need your services and then they'll refer you their phone numbers or their names and ooh, names and um, they will most likely be able to give you some business out of that so basically that's the nine steps of what you can do in order to generate more traffic more leads and more business for local business marketing and it all can stem from having a website built for you properly by the professionals that won't gouge you at the beginning and if you're looking for somebody who is able to build you a nice website for your business think of sapphire seo you can visit us at sapphiresco.org that's s-a-p-p-h-i-r-e-s-e-o.org and send us a drop us a line you can also contact us through there our phone number is on the contact page and otherwise thank you for watching as always have a great day